As we all know, Mario Kart Wii has like four good vehicles in the whole game, and most of the other vehicles never even get used. So in this video, I randomized my vehicle and character combination. If I lose VR, I have to move on to the next randomized combo, and I only get five of them. Our goal is to reach 6,000 VR by the end of the challenge. Can we get there? Let's find out. Okay, so, full disclosure, I have already attempted this challenge a couple of times, and I haven't even gotten close to 6,000 VR. I usually die off at, like, much, much below that, so I'm hoping we can get some real progress this time. We are on the bullet bike with Koopa Troopa, which is good, but we're also on raceway, which means anything could happen. We could lose, we could lose Koopa immediately, and I'm hoping we don't because it's not it's not common to get an inside drift bike. So I'm just gonna hold this and because shock is gonna happen very soon, we're gonna go ahead and use this up now, get ourselves a nice little lead, and get shocks. Perfect. Alright. I am a little bit worried because obviously this is raceway. A breakaway on lap one doesn't mean much. But it's not a bad start. This is fine. I don't even mind that. I think our Excel is good enough to just... Yeah, I think that's worth it. And then get that mushroom. Yeah, we still have a pretty decent breakaway. The thing is, with this track, lap 3 is the most important lap by far. Like, I could get blued, shocked, bulleted, you know, megaed, uh, TC'd. I could get everything happen to me right now, just because items are so important on this track. Everything, every bad thing can happen, so we just gotta keep our eyes open, stay aware. Alright, pow block. Not too bad. And I don't need to get first either. As long as I'm gaining VR, we're fine. Um, but hey, first place, I don't know, it's not, not seeming too unrealistic right now. Oh, shoot! Okay, this is fine. Third is totally cool. Can we just keep third? That's what I need. Third place is fine. Okay, second place. Second place is even better. Cool. Okay, so how's our VR looking after that? I mean, I'm sure we're going to gain for a second. I want to know how much, because our goal is 6,140 VR. Let's go, dude. Okay, well, I'm a little nervous about this one. We've got Maple Treeway, which is just super duper hard, but that's alright. We're gonna take the uh, off-road cut, get a sixth place box, maybe a star, smuggle it up to third. All right. So the room did drop to six players. I'm pretty sure I'm still the lowest VR in the room though, which is fine. I mean, that's what we want. And now I'm in first with a star. What on earth? First place with a star, can we get a ground star? Oh, I think it was, I hit the wrong bush, I think. Anyhow, this is good. I'm just gonna... Did somebody do the... Oh, I thought somebody did the turn skip. I'm gonna say, like, turn skip online? That's crazy. Anyway. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. I'm gonna use this now. Oh, look at that. Wonderful timing. Because, uh, shock could happen any second now. I'm gonna just lay that there. I don't really have a good spot for it anywhere. Oh, I should have put it over here, actually. Anyway, I'm gonna hold this banana just in case there's a red shell. Alright, honestly, considering this is Maple Treeway, like, this is this is the best I've done on Treeway in a really long time. Um, okay, well, that was weird. I, I full stopped for the Wiggler, but it's alright. So, I'm gonna get a box, not a fib. I don't want a fib. Alright, cool. Plenty of bananas back there. I don't think anyone's gonna hit any. I mean, they're not really in the middle of the road, but... My main, the, my main worry, the funny thing is, is that it's not even anybody hitting me or anybody outplaying me, it's just me failing in some way, because I'm, I'm really not good at this track, so we're just gonna try, I mean, I'm playing pretty well right now, which is unusual for here, and I think this is worth it. Yeah, that felt worth it, and it looks like we're gonna finish in first on Maple Treeway. Which, hey, I'm surprised about that, honestly. Oh, dude. 102. 
Okay. Mario Circuit 3. So, I'm going to bag here. And I know that's a little bit risky, because I totally front-ran the last one and barely even had to bag, but I think this, uh, this golden mushroom should be pretty good. Right? Right? Yeah? Maybe? Alright. Look at that. We're in second. We're in second, and now we're going to break away. We're going to be in first place in the bullet bike on a great bullet bike track. And, oh, the POW just coming in at the perfect time. Okay, this is going really well. The pack is not close at all looking at the mini-map, which is good, because then if I get hit by something, I'm less likely to lose a bunch of spots. Maybe I'll lose one, but no, not go from first to last because of one item. Um, I'll lay that banana there. I think that was a good spot. Hopefully someone's gonna hit that. And we're doing good! I mean, really. Um, I shouldn't have laid both of those. I thought I had three for a second, that's why I laid both the bananas. But, I think we're okay. I think we might get first this race. And nothing wrong with first. I'm going to snipe that over the wall just for fun. Alright, dude. Another first place. Alright, we are at 53.25 on the VR. We are on Bowser Castle 3 Mirror. And as you'll see, we are down to four players instead of six. But I don't have too much problem with that. Um, oh, okay, we both hit each other's bananas there. And it looks as though... What are we in? We in 150? We might be in 150 CC. If we're in 150, then that's good news. I'm going to go ahead and trap that up. That was a pretty well laid trap, I think. We should be alright. If we get a mushroom, uh, I may go for the shortcut. But I'm totally comfortable in second place. Because it looks like one, if not both of them, failed the shortcut. Uh, second, or third and fourth. So, I'm liking this. Oh, are we going to hit him? No. That would have been cool. If we can get a blue shell to come in and assist us, that would be great. Okay, wow. <laughs> there we go. Um, so this is good. I'm not even going to go for low tricks just because I haven't really done them with this vehicle, so I don't know if they would, um, if they'd be easy or not. But look at us. We're in first place right now. And, okay. There was a red shell. It changed its mind. I want to see if I can maybe get this guy my back red. Okay, I missed. And then, okay. That's good. Maybe he'll hit one of those ground reds. It doesn't look like he did. This is close, man. Me and second place are kind of brawling it out right now, but third is a little bit back there. Oh, that trap was like the best laid trap of all time. Okay. Alright, I let it go. That was a bit of a risk. Oh, alright. I'm a little bit worried because I don't know if it's going to last. <laughs> Here we go. N64 Bowser Castle. I'm surprised how far we've made it with this combo. We've gotten like a couple hundred VR, and it looks like there's a Funky Kong on... Is that the off-roader? So, um, I like that. I like seeing other people in goofy combos because it means we have a bit of a better chance at winning. So I'm trying to hold on to my star. I'm gonna chain it here. What are we gonna get? Come on, give me another star. That'd be great. Okay. Oh, dude! They really call it an invincible star when that can happen. Oh, man. Okay. Well, it's okay, because it's lap one. But, man, that was just a terrible bump. So, I'm going to go ahead and try and get ahead of 
couple people here, and I'm gonna go for this. I'm not good at doing this in mirror. Yeah, okay, I failed it. Can I go for it again, maybe? Oh, no. All right. Uh, I don't want to get bulleted. This is kind of stressful, man. Funky Kong and the Off-Roader just sent me flying a couple minutes ago. It's like the Bump Fest video all over again. Okay, well, I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I am just going to... Oh, I thought this was... Okay, I got a little confused on where I was. I was going to just dive off, but... Bullet, bullet is better than just diving off anyways. Don't drop me there. Dang it, man. It drops me right after the item. So now I'm just kind of helpless for the next few seconds. Um, I guess I'll go for this. I'm just trying to play it as safe as possible, though, because if I lose this combo, we, we're most likely going to be in some pretty bad trouble. Oh, shoot. Okay, this is fine, because our acceleration is so good. Um, we're going to do this cut to get a bit of a break away from second place, and first is just totally... I mean, first is out of the picture, but if we can just maintain second until the end, that should be a pretty juicy VR gain. So, I'm not even going to go for the shortcut again. I've learned that I'm no good at doing it in mirror mode. So, go ahead and get my force field going, and there we go. Nice. Alright, so we're on DK Summit, and I've decided I'm going to go for the double at least once. I have, like, no practice doing it with the bullet bike, but we're on 150cc and DK Summit, so it's like, I gotta try it. Um, I guess I'll go for it now, just because it's lap one. Oops. I mean, I was trying to protect my lead, but this thing weighs about as much as, like, a feather, so... Let's go for it. we make it? Oh, we got it. Let's go. Oh, dude. Laying out bananas like that. Alright. This is okay. Third place is not bad. Dude, are you really telling me that they have a thundercloud out of the cannon? How did they even do that? I'm thinking I'm gonna go for this again. I mean, I made it the first time, so I might as well try it again. And that's why you never get cocky. Okay, all right. We've got a whole nother lap to play after this. So as long as that lap goes okay, we should be fine. Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> that ain't good. Alright, this isn't terrible. This isn't terrible. Um, yeah, this, this isn't great, though. Oh, that wall dodge was nice. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to my shroom. And I have to go for this again. Especially now that I'm, like, way in the way back. And uh, we're gonna have some problems if I miss this. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have some problems. Okay. Not a terrible respawn, but I think it's too little too late at this point. Oh, man. Koopa on the bullet bike was such a good combo. We got dead last, too. Man. Okay, well, minus 58 BR. It is time for us to retire Koopa and randomize for a new combo. We got our brand new vehicle, Baby Peach, with the Jet Bubble, so I'm very happy that we were able to get another Inside Drift bike, and we're taking it to Luigi Circuit to start because, you know, an easy, an easy track. Uh, I, I never use this vehicle. I think this is probably the worst Inside Drift bike in the whole game, but... I'm sure at least one of its stats is okay. I didn't even check. I'll check the stats after this race just so I know what to vote. Oh, okay. All right. Someone had some bananas there. And just barely missed the chain. That's the wonderful thing about Luigi Circuit. It can be any CC. Let's see. Yeah, that's amazing acceleration. It can be any CC, any vehicle, any controller even, really. Like, if you use any random combo on the Luigi circuit, you're almost guaranteed to at least have a chance. I'm not going to dodge that, uh, that Funky Kong on the off-roader. I need to get myself an advantage. Ooh! That's basically a shock dodge, only it's even better. Okay. 
This could be big. This could be really, really big. I know people are going to do the shortcut at the end, and I'm going to lose at least one or two spots to that. But so long as there's not any blue shells or anything like that, this could be a good ending. Let's go, dude. First place. Well, this should be good. Plus 118. Okay, so we got Ghost Valley 2, and I checked this thing's stats. They're all pretty much, like, perfectly balanced. Um, this is pretty much the standard bike, but inside drift, from what I could tell. I have a lot of practice on this track, but not with the jet bubble. Oh, that drift. It's funny because everyone gets used to mock bike and flame runner drift, which is actually really high drift stat. So then when you play with something with like medium drift stat, it just feels horrible. Anyway, we're still in first, but that could that could run out any second, so I'm trying to be as cautious as possible. I'm trying to just hold my items for now. I don't want to be too aggressive. I'm not even going to go for the shortcut this lap. I don't want to mess it up. Mirror mode shortcut is hard enough to, to land without messing something up and then throw in the fact that I'm on an unfamiliar vehicle. Alright, another first place, which honestly surprises me quite a lot. Okay, we got Daisy Circuit. I'm happy that we did because I really do need tracks where I can't fall off with this thing. Um... And I feel like, to be fair, having medium acceleration and medium weight, I, it probably wouldn't be too big a deal if I fell off, and I probably wouldn't be super likely to get bumped off anyways, but also having lower drift than I'm used to, I might mess up and just fall off naturally. So, anyhow, we've got a golden. Um, I like that. I'm just going to start using it now, try and break away. And my worry is going to be blue shells, basically. If I'm going to camp up in first, blue shells are going to be something to worry about. Uh, being in a small room like this, though, I feel pretty good about it. And our off-road... That's, that's possibly worth doing. I don't really know. See, this vehicle is honestly not, t like, that bad. But it's also not that good. It's not that it's a bad vehicle, it's the lack of being a good vehicle, if that makes any sense. And I don't think that it's... It's just because none of its stats are, like, particularly high. It doesn't have a high speed stat, or a high excel stat, or a high drift stat, but it doesn't have any low stats either. They're all just in the middle. Anyway, we did it. First place, and plus 42. Alright, we got Peach Beach. I'm glad. I just, I value the jet bubble so much right now, because I'm, I'm actually able to play and like, kind of perform with it. Um, and I'm, I'm worried that if we lose this, we're going to randomize and get the Phantom and then the Piranha Prowler and then like, the Sugar Scoot or something and we're just going to lose everything. But, um... Let's just stay focused. Because right now we're in first. This is a great track for, like, kind of bagging. You know, not not bagging for as long as you would on Raceway or Mario Circuit or even Luigi Circuit, but just, like, you know, st stay behind a second. Grab a nice item at the beginning of the race while you wait for everyone else to pass you, you know? I feel like there's a lot of tracks where you can do that, that are kind of underrated for bagging. Okay, we're going into lap three and we're still in first, but a blue shell could change everything. And I'm hoping it doesn't. I'm hoping there's there's no blue shell coming, because that would be, uh, <clears throat> that'd be pretty sad. That would end the reign of the jet bubble. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Well, now I'm getting worried. I had a pretty decent breakaway. I honestly probably could have survived a blue shell. Now I can't. And now that there's a POW. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whew. I was going to say, if someone had a blue shell, they would have thrown it right before that POW. And it would have hit me right before the line. But thankfully, there was no blue shell in play. So we won another race. 
52 more VR. Okay, I'll take that. I'm naturally pretty worried about this one because this is basically one of the hardest tracks in the game, in my opinion. So playing it with the jet bubble is going to be weird. I've got a teensy, eensy little bit of practice on it with the uh, flame runner, but this is not the flame runner or anything even like it. So I'm just hoping nothing crazy happens. Okay, well that bat was a little bit annoying, but um, I'm going to hope for no blue shells. There we go. Got that item box. Leave that right there. Leave that in a place where absolutely no one will hit it. I mean, that was an accident. But whatever. And we've got a breakaway. Which is cool. I'm, I'm liking this. Okay, blue shell, but it's fine. Because we just have an enormous breakaway. Kind of out of nowhere. Alright. So looking at how we're doing right now, the pack is just not close at all. I mean, uh, second and third are right next to each other, but they're not. No, not now they're not. As long as something catastrophic doesn't happen right now, we're going to be okay. But something catastrophic could absolutely happen still, so... Oh my gosh, dude. That was a close one. Okay. Well, here we go. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, I looked away from the screen for like one second and I got a horrible respawn. Oh, he's right there. Okay. <laughs> Let's, uh, oh, dude, the little warning went away. I thought the red was gone. I'm almost certain we're still going to gain VR though, so we should be fine. I'm pretty sure Coconut Mall is going to be tolerable for the most part, but can never be too sure because this vehicle has treated us a lot better than I thought it would initially. So anyway, golden, not bad. There's only four of us in the room. So I will just use this, sneak up ahead of everybody else. All right, good. We're doing great right now, man. Got a very small break away from everyone else. I think it was worth leaving that banana there, because I think it was a good spot. It's right behind where the car is going to be, so someone might slip on that. And that'll be good. Um, but it looks like this Funky Kong is pretty much right behind me. I'm going to go for a box here. And lay this banana. Oh my gosh, I just can't take the turn tight enough. I was going to lay it along where the flame flame runner lines usually are, right up against the wall, but I couldn't even get close enough. I'm the only non-flame runner in here. Dude, okay. Well, oh, the combo. Oh, the triple combo, dude. Alright, this isn't horrible, but we will lose VR if we finish in last place big surprise. Um, so let's go ahead and, okay, I missed the item box, but it's okay, because I can get one in just a second up here. I'm going to go over here, take this one, and that should give us something pretty good, a golden mushroom. And it looks like those two messed up somewhere, because now I have my unused golden mushroom in second place. So this is going well. I'm going to start using this now. Of course, I start using it right where there's boost pads, but second place finish. I mean, I sure hope I don't lose VR for that. Alright, plus 21. Alright, we're on Mario Raceway. Another four-player race. I think it's honestly, it's probably worth bagging, because now that I know I can get golden mushrooms and last, I mean, we want that. Right? Uh, okay, triple mushrooms. I'm just gonna hold them. Because unless he pulls a star, I'm not gonna be losing these. Oh, come on! Okay, I'm gonna have to use another one, but this is fine. Because now I've got a mushroom. And I feel like he could pull shells right there, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna use 
I'm not sure I'm gonna do the shortcut back there. Let's do this. This is wacky, I know, but <laughs> if that even saves any time over just taking the regular route. We're in third with a thundercloud. Okay. Get over here. Oh, shoot. Somebody, please, Dry Bowser, come on. Alright, I'm gonna bag them. I know this is just a horrible spot to be in, but... Yeah, blue shell, not really worth it. I just thought that was better. You know, better that I got my thundercloud to hit me and then pull an item, than I pull an item and I don't even get to use it because the thundercloud hits me as soon as I pull it. This is good, though, because now I can take the uh, behind-the-pipe shortcut up here, and that should get me, for the most part, caught up with everybody else. So, I'll go ahead and perfect, perfect spot to chain. Triple shells. Alright, I think this is going to be alright. We've got our mushroom. Oh, okay, that was bad, but it wasn't too bad. We're still alive. We're still standing. We're still hanging in there. Oh, that bomb. I think it hit both of us, though, so that's okay. It hit us both. Ah, uh, but if I get third, I'm probably going to lose VR. Oh, no, dude. There's no way I can catch up. Plus, this guy's on the flame runner. He's probably going to get ahead of me right now. Dude, oh, man. Third place finish. Ah. Minus seven. Oh, dude. The jet bubble has been so, so good to use. Sadly, it is time to retire the jet bubble and move on to combo number three. So sadly, we had to give up the jet bubble, but thankfully, we are still uh, on an inside drift bike. That's just shocking to me. We get to use the Magic Cruiser, and it actually picks my track, Shy Guy Beach. I'm still in last, but hopefully we'll be able to pull triple mushrooms. Excellent. And just kind of cruise through the water like you do as a Magic Cruiser user on Shy Guy Beach. And now we're in first with triples, which is just awesome. Pow blocks? I think power blocks can happen at any time, so I'll stay conscious of that. But no shocks, only a four player room. And I should be able to dodge uh, blue shells. And red shells shouldn't be hard to dodge either because there's trees and crabs and water and etc. So we're chilling right now, man. Look at that breakaway we have. See, this is just this is the perfect vehicle for this for this track, so I'm just gonna take it easy. It's nice. Just a nice relaxing day on the beach. Nice and sunny and lively with all the crabs and uh, trees and such. And other racers, I suppose. They're here too. I haven't even used my mushrooms. I've just been holding them this whole race and no one's pulled a blue yet. That bomb would have been pretty nasty to hit me and there we go 133 all right not too bad plus 75 okay the scary thing about this vehicle is it's really good but it's only really good on two tracks and it's pretty much horrible on every other track and mario circuit is not one of them so we're gonna bag perfect fifth place item and a star i'm gonna go ahead try and chain get another star Okay, triple mushrooms. I guess I don't need to be using them yet. Oh, shoot! I failed the drift, dude. Okay. I'm just gonna try and break away for a minute. It's not gonna last, because nothing lasts on Mario Circuit, except... Well, nothing, really. Really nothing lasts on Mario Circuit. So, I'm just trying to... Stay... Stay f safe and secure up in first. I missed that mushroom on the ground. Oh, dude, I think it's probably faster for me to do this, honestly. Eh, no. I missed the trick, so it really wasn't. Um, Alright, well, we're in fifth. We're in last right now. But we got another star. Last place star in a five-player room is nothing to complain about. 
Five players on Mario Circuit is honestly... It feels fine. And it looks like we have a DC. It looks like we're down to four players. And four players... It's good, because that means we automatically at least are going to be beating one person. Oh. Okay, well now we're in first with a mushroom, so all of a sudden, things are getting crazy. Everyone's super close. Oh my gosh. Okay. Can we finish in second? Can we finish up in second place? Okay. Second place. I'm fine with that. Second place Mario Circuit, plus 43 VR. So the room grew a little bit. We're up to seven players now. But we are on a track that doesn't have a lot of light off-road. And that is where the Magic Cruiser thrives. So I'm hoping... I mean, we're going to bag at the first set because we'd kind of be crazy not to. And we're going to see about... Oh, what the heck? This was a third place box and I pulled triples. Let's go for a golden. Golden or a star? Okay, golden's fine. Um... I'm gonna just do the shortcut, and, oh, I'm gonna do the shortcut, and we're gonna see about maybe smuggling ourselves up to a high spot, although it looks like the shortcut isn't gonna gain us much. Oh, never mind, put us in second. And then I'm just gonna kind of dive off here, do a little other shortcut. Ooh, that bump, that bump and then green shell combo. Put us right back into 6th. But 6th is fine. Can pull something good. Without having to bag. And I don't want to draft until after the items. Because I want to make sure I can get something. Okay. Excuse me, folks. Let me draft on you real quick. Come on. Come on. Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, man? Okay. Um, well, I get to go for the shortcut again, which is nice. Um, yeah, the other thing about the Magic Cruiser, it's a lot like the Quacker, only its drift is just not good at all. The Quacker has, like, one of the best drift stats in the game, but this just has, like, it feels similar to the Jet Bubble in that. Like, its drift is bad. <sighs> really? Really? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's just splendid, isn't it? That's like... Here we go. We're in first. We're in first place, dude. We're in first place on Delfino Square using the Magic Cruiser. Let's go, dude. First place finish. Woo! I'm just now realizing that all three of the vehicles I've gotten so far are lightweight inside drift bikes. We get DS Yoshi Falls. I'm a little bit skeptical about this one because it's like literally anywhere on the track I can get bumped off. But we're gonna bag. Sixth place box. Come on, something good. Alright, we got a star. And I'm just gonna use it here. And we're gonna star that poor, poor Funky Kong. I'm so sorry, I shouldn't have done that. I've been in that spot before, and I know that that sucks. This is another thing about this track, is like, when you get hit, you just get comboed. You get hit once, you get hit by everything. But it looks like, uh... We got a mushroom. I'm just gonna use it. I don't really need it. And, ooh, blue shell. Oh, I almost fell off. Scary. Okay, well now we're in first with a mushroom, so... If a blue gets thrown at us, we will have some defense. Well, it looks like we're doing pretty good. Oh, can we dodge this? Can we dodge this? Okay, we dodged it with the wall. Oh, let's go. Read it at the line. Nice. Look at that. Let's go, dude. 6,005 VR. The challenge could have stopped here. We reached 6,000 VR. That was the goal, right? Well, since there were still two random combos left, I decided to keep going and see how far we could get. But before we get to that, I want to invite you to join the channel's Discord server. The link is in the description. Okay, back to the video. Alright, so here we are, Coconut Mall. And actually, you know what, I'm gonna back. <laughs> Alright, give me a star, please. Please let me just get rid of this thing. Oh, somebody take it. Somebody, somebody, anybody, take this off my hands. 
I'm just, I'm gonna run from that guy. Run from that guy like he's the plague. Okay, well, we're good. Uh, wait for the item. <laughs> See, that's the problem with, with being a light vehicle. You could be minding your own business and if a flame runner even touches you for a, a millisecond, you're gonna fly like 10 feet over to the side. But that's okay. 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 Oh, not okay. Not okay. Oh my gosh. Um, well. Yeah, really, it's not even much slower to do that shroomless. It's probably still time saving over not taking the shortcut at all. Can I trick off that side? No. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this golden. Although, I have a bad feeling about this race. This isn't terrible. We're in fourth, though, so let's drop fifth place. Fifth place box. Triple mushrooms. Triple mushrooms. More than acceptable. That red shell, for no reason in particular, just didn't even work. And then, okay. Well, we fell out of bounds, which is fine. But, uh... Oh, dude! Oh, dude! Things are just kind of going south right now. Um, yeah, I think we need to get third if we don't want to lose VR. We maybe could get fourth if, you know, depending on who gets first and who gets last, but uh, we're in last place right now. We might be the ones losing VR. Um, come on, maybe we can beat this, this one guy. Oh, no, I don't think we beat him. I think we got last place. Okay, well, time to retire Dry Bones and the Magic Cruiser, but let's see what we get for our next vehicle. Okay, well, this is quite the change of uh, character and vehicle. Well, not really a change of character, I guess, but this is about as different a vehicle as we could possibly get. We're on the Jet Setter, and correct me if I'm wrong, Actually, no. This isn't the worst drifting vehicle in the game, but uh, it's pretty bad. It's like the Spear if it was a cart, which, fun, not so fun fact about the Spear is it has one of the worst mini turbo stats in the entire game. So combine that with bad drift and then make it into a cart, and you just have a really awkward vehicle that's only good on Rainbow Road. But I am not very good at Rainbow Road, so this is kind of an awkward, an awkward combo for me. But surprisingly, the pack isn't super separated. We're doing okay. Um, yeah, okay. We can snake. That's the nice thing about low drift stats is it's really easy to snake. Um, oh, that's gonna be good. Okay. I used it. I guess there's no shocks in five player rooms, but it, I don't even care. That just helped us take a shortcut, and now we're in second. Can we actually get second this race? Second will, like, gain us VR and bring us back to 6,000, which is super cool. We're back to 6,000 VR, just like that. Okay. BC64. I mean,. There are many, many better tracks it could have picked, but BC64 isn't horrible, so I'm fine with this. I just don't know how I'm going to do later in the track where there's you know, actual tight drifts that you have to take, but... Oh my gosh, okay. Getting bumped into the wall here. Um... Oh. The thing is, I feel like this track is pretty drivable with the Jet Setter, I just have no practice in doing that. Like, I have to stop there. Not to mention, usually when a vehicle has bad drift, it has good handling to kind of make up for it. The Jet Setter isn't like that. The Jet Setter has bad both. I'm not even gonna... I mean, okay, I'll try it. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to get up on the wall. Okay. Did that look like it was worth it to you? 
Did that look like it saved a single frame of time? It's alright, we know not to do it next lap. Oh, I see a thundercloud. Sorry, buddy. I don't want that. Uh, 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 uh. Get away from me. Get away from me. Oh, our back red hit him. Nice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh! <laughs> this is so weird. Playing with this vehicle is like playing a completely different game. Every stat except speed. I mean, like, no drift, no mini turbo, no handling, no acceleration. Maybe it's got good weight, but other than weight and speed, this vehicle has nothing. <laughs> okay, don't hit the wall, please. Okay, sort of snake it up here. Oh, not like that. Excuse me, Josh B, I need to uh, hit you, please. Even orange mini turbos. I mean, Dry Bowser has the mini turbo stat, so it's not, not horrible. But even super mini turbos, the orange ones, aren't that helpful. Oh, no. How did somebody pass me? Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. We're in a back red, and we hit him again. Dude, we've hit that guy with two back reds this race. Let's go. All right. Uh, mm-mm. <laughs> there was no way to avoid that, dude. Oh, shoot. Well, now we're in last, and the jet setter doesn't really make comebacks unless other people make mistakes. Oh, what mushrooms. Mushrooms are good. Come on. Maybe we can beat one person. One person. Come on. Okay, well, minus 39. And I guess that means it's time to randomize for our last combo of the video. We're just below 6,000 VR. I want to try and finish with 6,000. That's not good. <laughs> well, here we go. We're so close to getting back up to 6,000 VR. If we can just finish on 6,000, that would be great. If we can win some VR this race, even if we like lose VR next race, if we can just get one more win, we should be able to finish with 6,000. This is good. Is it even possible to do the respawn with this car? I mean, really. It's a fish we're talking about here, you know? This vehicle is not known for being taken, you know, seriously. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, that wasn't even close. I had that weird outside drift momentum going on. But this is okay. Bullets should be... Maybe they aren't pullable. I always thought they were pullable in rooms of any size, but I don't think that's true. But, uh... Whatever. We're fine. We're only entering into lap two right now. And I don't think we technically need first if we want to, you know, win VR. I mean, we could, we could make it back up to 6,000 anywhere. But this is our last combo, so we can't lose with it. Although fifth place, that is prime mushroom pulling position, right? We're gonna go for this again. Come on, dude! Come on, dude! Oh no. I am so far behind right now. I need to do this. I need... Oh my gosh. Okay, we're taking the left path. We're taking the, the 2008 lines. Okay. Well. I'm not loving the look of this. Um, but... You know, it's not over till it's over, right? Although I must admit, it's looking like it's pretty much over, but we can't give up yet. We're going to go for the shortcut one more time, because it's literally our only option. We cannot win this without the shortcut, and we're going to have to align for it, because I, I messed up. Oh! Okay, we actually got the respawn. I think we're still going to get last, though, huh? Maybe not. There's a Funky Kong that's just sitting there. Did he disconnect? Did he disconnect? No. Well, that's GG's, isn't it? <laughs> we made it to 6,000. We made it there twice. And we ended up at 59.26, dude. If you guys decide to try this out for yourself, make sure you let me know how much VR you get. Also, check out this video. Hey!